Hi, I'm Chris Lukenbiel, and for this week, we're going to take a look at a couple of reference maps and examine them and critique them for quality and aesthetics, what makes a good map. This map is of uh, Broward County, Florida. It was made by one of the MSGIST students over the last couple years. And they have to make a, a reference map, a graduated symbol map, a core plev map, and a couple other ones. So let's take a look at this one. And the first thing that I notice with this map is that they designed for the wrong medium. That this was supposed to be an output in PowerPoint to share with your fellow students in a classroom, but this one was clearly designed for print. And we can tell by looking at how big the font size is on the points in Broward County. And they're completely unable to be read within a classroom. Typically, when you design for PowerPoint, the minimum font size that you would want to be able to be vi visible is around 16 point font. When you do a print map, you can drop down to sometimes four to six point fonts. And you can see clearly here that these aren't even probably sitting around an eight or nine point font right there. Also, the second thing I notice is just sort of a bland figure ground contrast. This black background is supposed to be giving the, the main body of the map kind of that pop effect. And the same thing with the red but it kind of feels to me like it was overdone, like it's a little lacking of taste. This high red color is in a different color palette than these pastels here as well. So it's supposed to give a pop effect, but it's actually kind of distracting. And notice I've never seen these pop out um, symbols done very well. You can see this one's not even connected, that it would probably be better to not even have these, that they're kind of just another distraction that occurs. And finally, the second major error that this map did is if the focus is on Broward County, it should be the largest element on the map. And what actually is? Florida is bigger than Broward County. So they've actually got the emphasis reversed that Broward should be larger and Florida should be smaller. Let's take a look at another map. This one was also done by an MSGIST student um, in 2011 actually. And this is a much better map. You can actually just kind of feel it. Even though it's in black and white, um, it really has a nice clean effect to it. And actually designing in black and white can be much more difficult sometimes. So let's take a look. When we, when we evaluate um, reference maps like this, we can always start with evaluating by point, line, and area. And we look at each element individually. And then we'll look at the whole map as a, as a whole, looking at all the map elements. So we start with the points and the text associated with the points. And there's a rule about point figures where the best placement, it's called Yuli's Law, is up and to the right. And then the second best placement would be up and to the left. And then you work your way around. So it's slightly offset. Also, this map does one thing that's really important with points, is that point features that appear on the water, either all the text should be on the water or on the land. And you can see that they've kept all the text completely on the land. So they've been consistent with their labeling. And so if we work our way around, you can see that Yuli's Law is being implemented on all the point features. And they're all within close proximity of the feature itself. So it was very nice on the, on the point features. So let's look at the line features. And mainly what we have for lines is freeways. And then we look for consistency in size and placement, where they're out, where there's no other labels going on. So those are very nicely done. The final one would be areas. And the emphasis is on Wayne County. So we got a nice big Wayne County and the white is making it pop. And then notice the other counties have a darker or like a 40% gray tone effect, which is very nice because it's supposed to make it less emphasized, make it recede a little bit. And to keep it consistent, Wayne County is in the same font um, size and tone as the other ones. Over here on the inset, we can also see an emphasis on Michigan. And um, it looks like they use black text and gray text to make it get a little bit of a pop effect. The last thing that we can look at within the, um, the area is how they labeled water features. Water features should always be in italics. And water features or text that is associated with the polygon should follow the shape of the polygon. 
So that's why you see Lake St. Clair kind of going up and matching that area of where the water is. Same thing with Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron. So this is a very well-designed map. 